Hey everyone, my name is Lindsay Myers and I'm a mechanical engineering major at New Mexico State University. I'm also a Senge student ambassador and today I'm going to spend a few minutes showing you everything you need to know about MindTap. If you aren't familiar, MindTap is an online homework platform that includes access to your e-textbook, study tools, assignments, and more. After you watch this video, you'll know how to use your e-textbook within MindTap, access and complete assignments, and check your grades. I'll also show you a few tips to make the most of MindTap. To start, you'll want to make sure you've already signed up for your MindTap course and that you already have a Cengage account and access. If you haven't already created an account, logged in, and accessed MindTap, you'll want to visit startstrong.cengage.com first and learn how to register for your course before checking out the rest of this video. The first step to using MindTap is logging in. Most of you will access MindTap through your learning management system like Blackboard, Canvas, D2L, Moodle, or something else. You'll typically see links to individual assignments, readings, and activities that will take you straight to MindTap. If your instructor hasn't put links to MindTap in your LMS course, you'll just go to Cengage.com and log into your account to access MindTap. Once you're in MindTap, you'll see a bunch of folders with readings, activities, and more. Don't worry though, it's easy to find out exactly when things are due. You can filter here on the side to quickly see which assignments have due dates and other important information. One of the best features here is the calendar view. Click on this calendar button to quickly see a week-by-week -week view of what is due when. One thing to note is that your instructor may put all the due dates in your LMS like Blackboard, Canvas, or the syllabus, so it's a best practice to make sure you have reviewed those. Now I'll show you how to access the ebook. Click on any tile that has this little book icon to jump into that specific chapter. Think of the reader as an ebook with lots of extra features. Once you navigate to the page you are looking for, you'll see several buttons in the upper right hand corner that you can use as you read. First, you can click on the little speech icon to have the whole page or a highlighted portion of the text read aloud to you. You can also change the font size, bookmark the page, and print the page here. To navigate to the next page, you can click on the arrows or go back to the table of contents. You can see that some pages have videos and other content directly embedded. As you're reading, feel free to highlight any text with your cursor. Once you highlight the text, you can change the color of the highlights, add notes, have the text read aloud to you, or add that section as a flashcard. Be on the lookout for any orange highlights as those are highlights that were made by your instructor. Creating a flashcard is one of my favorite things in MindTap because it really helps with my studying. I like to highlight key passages and create flashcards and notes from key terms. Speaking of notes and flashcards, MindTap has a great place to collect all this info. On the sidebar here, just click on the little pencil and notebook icon to access all of your notes, bookmarks, and study guides. I love to create notes and study guides, then print them off here to help me prepare for an exam. To access your flashcards, including the ones that come with the book, click on the little flashcards icon. You'll be able to view the set of flashcards that come with each chapter as well as create your own. If you're like me, the main thing I really need to know is how to access my assignments and when to complete them. The good news is that MindTap makes it really easy to see when assignments are due, which ones count towards your grade, and which ones are for practice. First, I'll click on the calendar view. Then I can quickly see that my chapter quiz is due this week. If I click on the chapter quiz, then start assignment now, I'll be able to complete the assignment. One important thing to note is that many instructors post these links to assignments straight in their LMS like Canvas. If that's the case, you'll click on those links to go straight to the assignment. Either way, you'll be able to see everything in MindTap that's due here. Once you've completed assignments, you're probably wondering how to see your grades. MindTap has a great little feature called the Progress app that shows you all your MindTap grades along with lots of other helpful info. Click on the little person icon here to access the Progress app. You can view all your MindTap grades as well as see other helpful metrics like time spent in MindTap and more. I love to monitor this to stay up to date on how I'm doing in the course. As a note, your grades may also be flowing over to your LMS gradebook. And that's it. Don't forget, if you need help or have any issues, you can reach out to Cengage Support 24-7. You can reach them through support.cengage.com by chat or by phone. Thanks for watching this short video and I hope you have a great semester.